Oh. Hello, it's Eggy here and it's raining. I'm in the car. I'm by Tesco car park. Pissed off and generally everything. <laughs> anyway. I thought I'd go in here and get a small bottle of vodka with a bottle of either ginger ale. I thought I might try a bottle of half a bottle of vodka and a bottle of ginger ale together. Or just to go for a bottle of orange or something, you know, fresh orange. I don't know. Eggnogs Friday Vlog! I can't remember, I told you what happened to Vazda. Fucking wankers they are. Never got the job anyway. Went for the second interview. Got this little spotty teenage girl interviewing me. Well, she wasn't teenage, but she was young. Plump, you know, small, plump girl. Um, she supposed, they were supposed to show us this video, they never did. Before we, you can take you onto the shop floor, you need to show you this video. She couldn't get it to work, uh, another woman couldn't get it to work, and this bloke couldn't get it to work. Idiots, they were. Like the blind need of the blind. So I think they've broken one of their policies there, straight away, because then they took us on, me on the shop floor. Left me alone there. They said, can you uh, tie to the shelves up, you know, get rid of the cardboard, and just put things forward in front, and there's a trolley over some yoghurt on. I said fill the from that tro uh, trolley and just replace the stock, yeah? So I tidied up the boxes and he goes, I'll be back in a minute and they all buggered off. I was left there. I thought, oh, this is great supervision. Um, I came back after five or ten minutes. But I can't remember, I wasn't timing it, it was about ten minutes, I think. And did he come with us? And so went with the, the fat plump girl again. And... She asked me a few questions, and she said, "Oh, sorry, I'm I'm a bit quick. Um, I suppose it was a bit long." She said something like that. Um, because I'm I'm new to this. Well, she should be supervised, being into you, and then if she doesn't know what to do, she didn't ask. I asked to fill this form in, I, which I never did. I said, "Can you fill this form in?" And then they took it away from me. So. I thought that was a bit funny. Everything about the interview was wrong, you know. She didn't have, to me, she wasn't qualified or had an, have got enough experience to be interviewing this this young girl. There, there was no um, induction video for us to go on the shop floor, was shown. So the policies there, everything was wrong about it. They left me alone in the shop uh, on the aisle, unsupervised. Or they buggered off somewhere. I think it's just to get another trolley it was, but I was left alone, unsupervised. Um, it was all wrong. It was all wrong. You know. And I was very pleasant to the lady, the plump fat girl who interviewed me. I never called the plump fat girl in, at then, because I was trying to be nice. But, hey, what the fuck? She didn't give me the job. She was the one in the interview and she probably decided. Probably give it to this um, teenage spotty girl or something. You know, someone young. Anyway, next time I'll go to our stop, I'll look up for the counter, because I was going to be on the counters of the meats, she says. And she goes, there's no men on the counters, so you'd be the only one. She goes, is it above you? I said, no, because I've worked with women all my life. I said, been in care homes, you know. There's not many care men, is there? So I've always worked with women. Anyway, that's that moan I'm done. So, moan over. Time to get pissed, I think. Come out of Tesco, right? When I was in there, some idiot was asking for, guess, non-alcoholic vodka. <laughs> non-alcoholic vodka. Well, that's just water then, isn't it? You know, you get some idiots, don't you? <sighs> Do you like my car lights? See, make the car look Christmassy. Ha, ha, ha.